Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here to do a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you. So please just take what does resonate and toss what doesn't. I feel like um, I feel like there's like this lull for the collective here. Um, but behind the scenes, there's like a lot of static going down, okay? So this is almost, I kind of feel like, the, you know, you're in the eye of the storm. That's kind of how I feel like, because there's a ring around you in the background that's uh, like a big storm, okay? But you're like in the center. You're the center focus, but everything around you is calm and quiet. You see what I'm saying? That's sort of the, what, the feeling that it gives me, okay? Um, anywho, thank you everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, um, the whole nines. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel grow, man. Those, the likes and the subscribes, that's what helps the readers the most. I, 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 the likes to me and the little hearts and the smiley faces and when you guys say hi and you tell me you love me, those kind of things. I like that. <laughs> I like that because it it really helps the readers go on. You know what I mean? Yeah, so keep that up. Anyway, um, yeah, Divine, what do you have uh, regarding this energy, the eye of the storm? That's kind of what I'm feeling like. You're a pivotal, yeah, there, yeah, see, I'm telling you, you're you're the central focus here. But look at where you are. Where you are, okay, somebody may spontaneously pop up on you. You're in the eye of the storm. It's nice and it's fine where you are, nice, calm, peaceful. But where they are, it's the storm and they're watching you. You're like the... You're like that central focus. Yeah, probably because you're just done. You're done with this cycle. And I feel like maybe that's why you're being protective, protected from this hurricane. It's literally, I'm feeling like a hurricane going on in a circle around you. And you're in the middle. You're in the middle, leaving the scene. And where you are, it's really calm and peaceful and, and, and protected. Okay. Yeah, and that's because you are the central focus here. Um, part of part of which is because I feel like in turning your back on this, completing this cycle the way that you have, um, and having respect for yourself and knowing your worth, that means that you're having the victory here. And there's jealous eyes watching you, either not wanting you to leave or to pull your energy back or watching you be all right in the eye of the storm, okay? Um, it's a storm where they are. Scared, panicked, anxiety. Um, like, it's literally kind of a mess. Look at how wrapped up they are and all of these wires and um, technology may be a, an issue for this person. Maybe they're watching you online, watching you on their phone, watching you leave, telling you you're in the eye of the storm, and there's a thirsty drama queen that's out there causing chaos as you go. I'm going to put that here. I feel like you're leaving. You've got your back turned towards this twice now. Twice. I feel like this person is hiding their face here three times in this picture. Causing chaos behind the scenes, watching you, watching you, and you're just, you're just leaving. I feel like you're just leaving. You're on a spiritual journey. You're leveling up. You're out of this drama. I feel like you don't really want any part of it. Yeah, blocked, ghosted. Blocked, cut off. I feel like you're cutting these people off. Uh, oh, that's what it is. This drama queen is watching you because they want proof. They want proof that you're actually leaving the scene. That's what it is. That's why they're watching you. They want proof that you've actually cut off. 
whoever. Yeah, because there's no silence, right? It's very quiet where you are. What did I say? Because you're in the eye of the storm. That's It's their storm. And you're just living a calm, peaceful, peaceful life. You're done with this. You've got your back turned. You're, you're moving forward. Some of you could be making an actual house move here, moving away. They want proof. So they're making sure that you are making an exit. That's what this is. They're watching you to make sure that you're actually making an exit and leaving the scene. Okay? Because no one's hearing from you. No sil silence, non-action, no action taken yet. They want to make sure that you are done with this. Yeah. And they're scared, panicked, because if you're not, that threatens them because clearly you're ascending and they're mainly focused on you. Uh, it's Yeah, but they want proof. They want They want you to show them that you're actually going to be not taking any action in this. That you've cut this off. That you've blocked the whole situation. That's why they're watching you. At least this karmic individual. I feel like you're not showing any anybody anything. It's absolutely silent where you are. That's, I started saying that before I pulled all the cards out. Um, it's absolutely quiet where you are. It's peaceful, calm, quiet because you're on a, you're having a spiritual awakening. You don't want this drama. You know your worth. I feel like you're you're leaving the situation behind and moving on up in your life. You know, telepathic dream songs. Um, I kind of feel like you're you could be communicating with your person telepathically or they're trying to. Okay, so this karmic can definitely feel that energy. That's why they're looking for proof. They want to make sure you have your back turned and you're leaving the scene, right? Um but they can also feel your person trying to connect with you on a different level. On the 5D, in the 5D. Um uh, telepathically, you know, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection here. You guys could very well have the ability um, to talk to each other. Th this person could be worried too that you're talking to each other through um, social media or the internet even. Yeah, this is somebody that your person has some kind of family with, blood ties, an inner circle. Or they could be getting their family involved here. Yeah, they, they have, um, yeah, because they, they want the money, I feel. They want that financial support. Um, yeah, that's what they want. So they're, they're, it says here, writing, diary, keeping notes, journaling. They may be trying to get something on your person. Your person may be a really excellent provider. Show me more on this adore and telepathic, the alien and love, please. Yeah, I feel like you guys are very powerful. Um, you could very well be communicating with each other um, telepathically. It's a thing. It really is. Um, as you move forward, you know, because nobody's hearing from you. It's like crickets chirping over here. Very quiet. Like I said, you're in the eye of the storm where it's peaceful. It's peaceful. They're getting their world shaken up here. Um, they're in, they're in the actual storm. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yes. Um, I feel like your person really does want to hook up with you, right? This is to clarify alien and love. Two or more people. They want to talk to you. They, they do. They want to communicate with you in one form or another. If they can't, if they haven't tried to meet up with you yet, they're more than likely trying to communicate with you telepathically. And I think you've picked up on it, okay? Um, 
And that makes this drama queen over here, uh, it says drama queen, that makes this drama queen karmic over here ready to explode with rage because they know that this person wants to meet up with you, all right? Um, they know they want to talk to you. They know they're daydreaming about you. They know that they're trying to manifest you back in. They know that their mind is on you. I mean... They, they, it feels like they're in a pressure cooker right now. It's this one. Yeah, they know that they have this unconditional love for you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even notice it was over here. Yeah, and they, they're they angry. They want revenge. If they don't see proof that you're actually leaving the scene for good and this person won't see your face again, right? They they're gonna want revenge. They're gonna wanna they're gonna want payback, probably on the both of you, on this connection, definitely on your person, on you. They're jealous. They're watching you online, social media under a fake profile. But what did I say about them hiding their face, watching you and hiding their face? They're smoke screening their face here. They're hiding their face underneath whatever this thing is here. They're hiding part of their face here. This person is watching you, but they're hiding. So yeah, fake profile. Um, because this person, your person wants to come towards you. Two love cards on your side. And them trying to talk to you telepathically because they, this person's been blocking them from coming forward. Because of their rage, this person, rage. Pressure cooker. This person could be very volatile. This person could be very um, um, unpredictable. They could have like um, anger management issues, wanting revenge. This person isn't thinking clearly. I feel like definitely karmic here. They're closely watching you. They're closely watching this person. I, you know, honestly, do they ever have time to even eat or go to the bathroom? Because seriously, they watch you both that close. It's such a freaking obsession for this person. And, and the more they watch and the more they worry, the more th they're ready to explode with revenge. Because you have that magnetic pull. It's an unexplainable pull that your person can't resist. They know, they know your person cannot resist you. They're in love with you. They're just in love with you. And you are, you have your back turned in every photo here, trying to walk away. And your person has this pull on your energy, trying to reach you on, um, on the 5D telepathically, um, by manifesting everything. Okay, because they they're in love with you here, and they, they want to talk. Look, in every single one, you have your back turned. You're, you're trying to move forward. Okay, but there's a, a huge pull for your person. They don't, look at how they reach out and grab a hold of your hand here. They don't want you to go. And it's making this karmic over here freaking irate. Wanting revenge, wanting payback, watching you, okay? High anxiety, yeah, because on the bottom of the deck, your person wants to come together with you and reconcile. This is a spiritual union here. They want to have a spiritual union, possible soul contract. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection. And this karmic, they just want to watch you leave the scene. They want you gone. Because you're a real threat to this person and you're not, you don't even know. You're just done. You, but you're magnetic. All right, what else can you show me here, Divine? What's the possible outcome? Or I don't know if they can give me an outcome with the situations deck. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be an offer on the toll, on the, on the toll. <laughs> There is an offer on the table. There's going to be an offer on the table, <laughs> a proposal, right? Um, yeah, this person, uh, possible outcome, 
you may just very well be proposed to. There may be an offer that comes out. Um, yeah, Divine Feminines. There you go. Yep. There may just be a proposal for you here. Cool beans. Anyway, um, yeah. Just um, be aware that you're being watched um, very, very closely. Everything you do, everything you post, everything you say, blah, 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 blah. From an angry karmic that wants proof that you're leaving the scene because they know that your person is about to come forward to get back together with you. Yeah. Could be a divine feminine here. You're showing great strength here. And um, you just, you, in every single card, um, knowing your worth is what really stands out here. So, yeah, continue to move forward. Um, just stay in this this eye of the storm, right? Because <laughs> you're, you're where the weather is good. You're where... Um, this, there's sunshine, there's light, right? Um, this person is over here in the storm right now, suffering their karma and worrying a lot about losing this person to you, okay? Anywho, that's what I have for you for this reading. Um, if, if this helps, if you like this vibe, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.